today's the day. Today is the day. New Bayonetta game. We won. <laughs> oh, can you also change it to followers so 10 minutes? Thank you. All right. If anybody is just joining, we are playing the new Bayonetta game. It is March 17th, 2023. We are going to be playing the new Bayonetta title. My look today is inspired by Cheshire Cat. That's for the multicolor eye. I usually play Bayonetta, Bayonetta games with Bayonetta drag looks. So I wanted to go for that today. But let's, let's dive in. I'm ready. Long ago, there existed two clans, the Lumen Sages of Light and the Umbra Witches of Darkness. Together, they controlled a mysterious power. The clans put in place strict laws to ensure that strife would never consume them. But a pair of star-crossed lovers broke this rule, and a child was born with the blood of both sage and witch. It was a beautiful baby girl. Queen. Queen Chuck. As punishment for their forbidden love, the pair were torn asunder. The girl's sage father was exiled to a far land and her mother locked away in a solitary jail. The witch clan took in the young girl, but she grew up shunned as a pariah, cursed by the circumstance of her birth. Her one comfort was the night she snuck into the village jail to visit her mother's cell. Her mother passed each grueling day, barely able to so much as move in her cold cell. But when her daughter came to visit, the witch always showed her a loving smile. But even this small happiness eventually came to an end. On the night of the girl's 10th birthday, her mother was to be moved to a deeper cell where even the faintest memory of daylight could not reach her. Oh. In desperation, the girl tried a daring rescue, but with only a child's strength, the attempt was in vain. More alone than ever before, the young girl clung to all she had left. A stuffed cat named Cheshire, which her mother had made for her long ago. Many moons have since passed. My mind. Turning her back on the village, the girl was taken in by an exiled witch who lived on the outskirts of town. Under her strict guidance, the girl continued to train in the ways of the dark arts. She was determined to be a powerful witch and one day save her mother. Her name was Ceresa. Queen! Uh, 
I've got to hurry. Your lips are moving. We're moving. I'm moving. Something, sir. This place. Not a wig. I usually wear blonde, so I wear this when I have to do like a bayonetta or a Cereza look, or a more artsy look. Why would you say that? Cereza. Hey! What do you think you're doing? Cereza, you're <coughs> almost out of time. This Oof, is your last me. chance. If you don't hurry, you may never see your mother again. Who is this diva? Oh, John. John, I, I can't. Oh, you oh big she looks baby. cunty. I love that look. Come on, I'll lead the way. This way. Look at the little, like, witch chime, like, umbra symbols on the structures. Here, oh, look at her doing ballet. Wow, Sean, you're amazing. I love the designs Hurry of both up, of them in this. They look the so night. cute. Sean, wait! I can't run that fast. Oh! <laughs> Stop dallying! the art style. I had another. You want me to go up the ladder? I thought we just came from the ladder. Doing good. You just started this Bayonetta. 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 I'm practicing voice acting for Just when they cast me in Total Drama. Younger. Because the, on, the the person that made Total Drama, the producer of it, said he would cast me in a new season if they got green greenlit for it. Oh, I have to turn the page myself. 
Actually, yeah, it's on Twitter. Mummy? Realizing we're playing Bayonetta and I just like totally forgot that Viola existed and everything that she's ruined for us. And if I see anything related to Viola in this but game, dream again. I will but the ending. get very unhinged. It was a dream Cerisa knew by heart. But this time, something had changed. Cerisa decided to consult her friend, Cheshire. That's me! A strange boy appeared and told me something incredible. He said, if I went to Avalon Forest, he'd give me a fantastic power. If we had that, Rescuing Mummy would be a piece of cake. I love cake. The Forbidden Forest. The oft-repeated warning from Cerasa's teacher rung in her ears. Avalon Forest is home to fairies, creatures who love to whisk away children. Stay away. Cerasa, <gasps> where are you, my dear? Who is that? Cerasa's teacher Morgana was standing by the door, her frown discernible even from a distance. Morgana? Chapter one, Trial of the Full Moon. Oh yes! Great gowns, beautiful gowns. Check the lanterns along your journey using L to save your progress. The game will be saved automatically in different moments of the story. Watch for the icon in the bottom right. Love the art style. It's so Alice, Madness Returns. <gasps> How cute is that? Oh my God. That's adorable. I love that. Chores neglected and I find my apprentice enjoying her beauty sleep. Oh, gag her. I'm sorry. Uh, I just closed my eyes for a second. I, I was, I... Uh... Cerisa began making an excuse, but Morgana's scowl stopped her in her tracks. Yes, ma'am. I'll get to them right away. But despite her best intentions, Cerasa's gaze drifted back towards Avalon Forest. This did not go unnoticed by Morgana. Oh. If I've told you once, Cerasa, you must never enter that forest. 
With your current abilities, you would soon become a snack for one of the fairies who live there. Yes, Morgana. I know. Well then, stop your dreaming and finish those chores before moonrise, young lady. All right. Water from the well. Dylan, Come thank you so right much up. for 28 months of subscription. I appreciate you. A simple yes will suffice, Cereza. Off you go. Off you go. Despite her strict exterior. She's everything. Cereza oh, the blue lip though. Not teacher. my tea. Not my tea. Morgana had also been cast out of the village. She understood Cereza's pain, and her stern treatment came from a place of love. I can't. And I just am not a blue lip stand, like ever, for anything really. I love a nude lip. I'm a nude lip girl. Cerisa often reminded herself that these chores were all part of her training. I want to explore. Eager to please her master, she hurried off towards the well. I'll show you a well. This fucking puss. seem like a simple chore but it requires a fine sense of control making it perfect for umbran training ego man after laying eyes on the full bucket morgana gave a small nod of approval Good. Now collect the herbs from the garden. Oh, you know I love some herbs. Oh. <sighs> At the thought of herbs, Ceresa could not help but make a face. This is one job she wished could be forever stricken from her regimen. Why? You don't like to smoke a herb, Ceresa? Do have a problem? You don't like some good sativa or indica? No, no. Trying not to think about the task awaiting her, Ceresa headed towards the herb garden. The herbs in Morgana's garden were not your common basil or thyme. She grew infernal plants with an absolutely foul stench. Were they stinky? They typically burrowed to avoid sunlight, but a little bit of magic made them pop right up. That is really pretty. I want to make that my background. What's tea, girl? Which pulse? of magic coming right up. Oh, I was hitting the wrong analog stick. Asthma. If you want Witchpole to be a to be 
Oh, if you find which post to be a bit too difficult, you can change the settings so Ceresa will perform it on her own. I want to do it manual. If it gets annoying, we can change it, I'm sure. That's part of the gameplay. Just a bit more. There we go. Oh. To summon infernal thorn to bind enemies. Use no the spell one told me they could do this. I've got to catch it quick. I got it. Yes, I did it. Ceresa was pleasantly surprised. She usually managed to make a mess with even this rudimentary magic. I can't wait to see the look on Morgana's face. <laughs> Welcome back, Manny Cheaper Cheapington. <laughs> Ceresa hummed a happy tune while picking the herbs. As she bent down, she noticed a pretty flower growing amongst the weeds. Oh, those flowers would really bring out the color in Morgana's eyes. You're welcome, my good friend, Maddie Cheaper Cheapington. Ugh, I wouldn't mind if it weren't for the smell. Oh, stinky flowers. Ceresa proudly gave the basket to Morgana. It was full to bursting. How about that, Morgana? Quite the harvest, wouldn't you say? I also picked these violets. They're for you. I thought you might like them. Oh. Atop the herbs lay a small wreath. Morgana glanced down at it. She's not gonna like it. Her expression unchanged. She spoke to Ceresa in her usual tone. Oh. Do not expect praise for this sort of perfunctory performance. Oh. Oh, and Cereza, your hair today seems to have lost its sheen. Do not tell me that in addition to your outdoor tasks, you're also neglecting your hair. Uh, no, ma'am. It's next on my list. The way she just <sighs> clocked her to you. She's Remember, like, um, Cereza. fix your hair, fix your mug. Oh, I can do autoplay? Work. Hair is the most versatile tool of an Umbra witch. It can be shaped into our armor, weapons, and even used as a medium for summoning infernal demons. As blood flows through veins, magic flows through a witch's hair. Care for it as you would your most precious tool, and defend it as you would your very heart. Understood. I'll make sure to finish up before training starts tonight. Good. Now get back to your chores. The shadows grew long. The moon will soon rise. With this, Morgana turned and walked back towards the house. Yes, ma'am. At times, Morgana's cold treatment got Ceresa down. But she knew that Morgana cared for her and only wanted what was best for her. Could you imagine that actually be kind of camp? A bald <laughs> Umbra witch. Wait, what if there was Making a bald a Umbra witch, but like instead so of having hair on her head, she had like a long train? <gasps> they need to hire me. That, it, that would be so cunty. Like Sasha Valor tease. Oh my God, everything. Almost time for today's training. I'd better hurry, or I'm in for another lecture. Where's home? Love that save menu. So cute.
With the household chores complete, it was time for Ceresa's daily training in the dark arts. Today, she was finally going to get a chance to attempt a spell she had been practicing for weeks. Summoning an infernal demon. Ooh. For today's training, I will give you a little help. Before even learning what <gasps> it did, Ceresa was captivated by the intricate brace. Oh my god, I'm wearing oh. a butterfly like little in a close. That looks like this it. This is a tool for those who have yet I to play master this. the flow of magic. I actually didn't, it's just coincidence. Furthermore, we train under the full moon of the bisextile night. When the, the bisexual night! Umbra harness By is rights. at zenith. <laughs> Are you listening, young lady? You seem determined today. Perhaps I should let you nap more often. Yes, ma'am. Ceresa's spirits were high. She was determined to succeed. Nice reference. That's so cute. Step by step, Ceresa <laughs> flawlessly performed the summoning dance. Until... <gasps> Uh-oh. This looked like trouble. Unless bound by hair, there would be no way to control the demon. <laughs> The demon turned to ash mere inches from Ceresa. Without a proper medium, demons will soon die in our world. Ah, uh, we are finished for today. Let me try again, please. Morgana turned and walked away, ignoring her pupil's desperate plea. Oh, she's what everything. kind of witch fears her own summoned familiar? I was foolish to think you were ready for this training. Morgana told Ceresa to put away the magic brace before heading back to the house. Long after Morgana was gone, Ceresa sat moping in the garden. Out of habit, she shared her troubles with Cheshire. Forget returning to the village and saving money. At this rate, I'll never even become a witch. All of a sudden, the words from the boy in her dream echoed in her ears. Theresa, give you the power to save Mother. Avalon Forest, the White Wolf. I don't trust him. Avalon Forest. Ceresa's eyes wandered back to the forest. Morgana's repeated warnings left little room for ambiguity. And yet... Morgana is always dangerous this and stay away that. How could a dank old forest be that scary a place anyway? Adults do often exaggerate to keep kids in their place. Oof. This thought got Ceresa's blood boiling. Grievances started bubbling up. Nothing I do is ever good enough for her. Did you see those herbs? Flawless! As she blew off steam to Cheshire, she noticed Morgana's brace shining in the moonlight. What, oh, what are you saying, Cheshire? Take the brace and sneak into the forest? Morgana would give us a right smack on the bottom. Although, with the moon shining brightly, it was the ideal chance for a little surreptitious forest excursion. I mean, if I just had another chance to get the hang of it, I could have gotten that demon totally under wraps. With a demon by her side, eviscerating a fairy or two would be child's play. I don't know if this is a good idea, girl. That's it! I'm going to that forest! 
And when I come back with that fantastic power, Morgana will take back everything she said about me not being ready. Oh. Let's go, Cheshire. Oh. Next stop, Avalon. Uh, oh, do I have a decision in the matter? I can't. I don't want to. Oh, oh, Jesus. All right, here we go. We know this very familiar. Cerisa shivered at the thought of what lay ahead, but curiosity got the better of her. But curiosity killed the cat. Oh! Oh! We've been here. Let's go, Cheshire. Oh, wow. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. And so, Cerisa threw caution and her teacher's warnings to the wind and set out towards Avalon Forest. Little did she know that what lay waiting in those dark woods would change her fate forever. Oh wow. What a great opening. What if I was like, oh my god, the great game, oh my god. <laughs> that was a good opening though, good prologue. I mean, as much as everybody's like, everybody probably wants us to hate Morgana, but I think she's just a baddie, so. Like, I don't think Bayonetta would be a strong bad bitch as she is today without Morgana's, like, strict warnings Massive and stuff. trees blocked almost all light from the moon. An eerie silence enveloped Teresa. She cautiously ventured onwards. This is new. This was in here last time. Oh! Oh! D -d Don't surprise me like that! I want to go up this way. Onyx roses. Oh my god, young Onyx. The petal of the black roses that bloom in the inferno. A faint magical energy it possesses makes for... Makes it favored garden choice for the fairies as well. I'll take some. Can't keep my hands to myself. I like want to adventure everything because the fucking secrets they had in that DLC. Like I'm, I want to make sure I'm exploring everything because I'm scared there's gonna be something we miss, like Easter eggs and shit. This is too high up. If I fell, oh. Don't look down. You got it, girl. Come on, Cereza. One foot in front of the other. A plant from Inferno. I wonder how it will. We're on witch pose. These infernal plants. Are bigger than Morgana's herbs. They will require magic in the pulse. Respond to my magic. Ah! I guess I. Avalon drops. Magical energy crystallized by Avalon. One bite sends a rush of rich sweetness from head to toe, instantly in enrapturing anyone.
me already finding a secret. Eats, mother. Eats. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And that's exactly how you clear as the Nemesis Network here. We ensure you get that high quality gameplay here on the Nemesis Network. They will never miss a beat. We can cross this. No, I've decided we can cross this. Okay. Oh my God, it's the boss from Jack and Daxter. <gasps> oh my God, why did you hit the bunny? You're sick. Vitality. The petals on the bottom left of the screen show the vitality that will decrease when is attacked. When Soraya is attacked, if any vitality runs out, her story will come to an end. Oh, so we have to. Okay, I see. Well, no, I want to see what's on the other side now. I'm not missing shit, bitch. I'm not going to test that theory. Eat. You can't get behind it. What's in here? I see something. That was close. You see that? That was strategy. I don't think we can fight it now, though. I think you do have to backtrack. Maybe? I don't know. Ah. What's with the camera right now? Looking into the dark underbrush. Ceresa could not shake the feeling that someone was looking back. As the wind rustled the leaves, it sounded just like a rasping voice whispered in her ear. I can't turn back now. I'm going to become a witch and save Mummy. Oh, that's gorgeous. This window? Like, okay. Work. What's over here? Nothing. We got no secrets. Okay. Secret secrets are no fun unless you share with everyone. What was that? <sighs> Must have been a rabbit or something. I don't right, think so, Shishi? girl. <clears throat> oh, I saw another. Is, is someone out there?
Star Legend, thank you for the follow. Ceresa could not shake the feeling she was being watched. Is someone there? Show yourself! And then, as if to answer her call... <laughs> Is that a hilly churl? These were fairies. Nefarious creatures who ensnare the souls of humans who venture into the woods to feed on their vitality. This time, there was nowhere to run. Ceresa was backed into a corner. Please, please work this time. Fingers crossed, Ceresa prepared to use the summoning spell she learned from Morgana. Even after the summoning circle had faded away, no one had answered her call. Oh, oh they gagged her. Why? I did everything right. Oh. The fairies resumed their sinister mission. All at once, they jumped at Ceresa. Weapons forced to strike. <laughs> she shut her eyes tight and prepared for the worst. A moment passed, huh? and then another, but she felt not so much as a pinprick. What? Who are you? Oh, it did work. <gasps> it's Cheshire! Come. Ah! <laughs> that beast, as dark as a moonless night, had it all been a dream? You don't think... Could that have been... But before Ceresa could finish her question... Oh! <gasps> oh, wow. Cheshire? From its gaping wall, extending ear oh my to God. ear, fell a drop of thick slobber. Oh, he's slo He's given the sloppiest, Wait, sloppy. Did I manage to summon a demon that has ever. now possessed Cheshire? As if in reply, the beast growled and bared its blood red fangs, just as Ceresa feared. A demon had indeed possessed her beloved stuffed cat. The creature had desperately sought a medium in order to survive in our world. In lieu of hair, it settled for one made of felt. We know he's cute though. The demon's eyes found Ceresa. It let out a low growl. After her initial terror, Ceresa realized that she was able to understand what the demon was saying. Well, what is he saying, you, girl? You want me to return you to Inferno? Now, how would one go about doing that? We're going back to hell again. Ceresa had her hands full calling a demon to this world. She hadn't even begun to study the spell to send them back. Ceresa once again heard the demon's words, this time even more clearly. Send me back. Send me back. The demon's rage increased by the second, but there was nothing Ceresa could do. Out of patience, he pounced. Because that's going to get you somewhere by attacking me. Claws like daggers descended on Ceresa. <laughs> But what have we here? 
the demon had stopped cold. As if bound by an invisible force, no matter how he struggled, he was unable to touch Cereza. Plot armor. <laughs> Calm down. You're going to burst the seam. Don't worry, I'll send you home. Once I figure out how. I'm on my way to get a fantastic power. Oh, he's giving side With eye. That, sending you back should be a piece of cake. <clears throat> Giving up his attack, the demon turned his attention elsewhere. Intrigued, but a little scared, Ceresa decided to follow a bit behind. He is, in fact, the lost demon. He doesn't know how to get up. Wait! Oh my god! I'm playing as... I'm playing as Cheshire. The demon ran through the forest, searching for a way home. He's tired. The demon slashed with his razor sharp claws, but something felt off. His power seemed to escape him slowly but surely. What's wrong? What's wrong? <laughs> the demon bared his fangs. He was clearly suffering. Is he in pain? Oh no! Are you sick? Or hungry, perhaps? Girl, I am. As Cereza approached, the demon felt the strength return to his body. In an instant, he felt right as rain. His body was linked to Cereza by powerful magic. Moving away from her robbed it of its energy. What's that? I need to stay close to you? I've never heard of a spell like this before. The binding spell. How do you plan on getting me back to Inferno? The demon demanded. We first need to find a white wolf. He'll show us the way. Leave it to me, I'll find him, said the demon as he clambered to his feet. Um, I'm Cereza. What's your name? I have no name, replied the demon curtly. You don't have a name? That must be terribly inconvenient. Though I must admit, I haven't the faintest idea about demonic manners. May I call you Cheshire? That's the name of the stuffed cat you decided to borrow after all. Well, I need to call you something. If you're going to make a fuss about it, why don't you just find a new body? Oh, clocked him, okay. Fine, I'll just call you whatever I please. And so these strange companions set off in search of the white wolf. What mysteries await in Avalon Forest? I'll show you a mystery, all right.
moving the two, Cheshire and Cereza can move separately. Move Cereza with L and Cheshire with, oh, I don't know if I like that. Hi, Star Legend. They cannot be apart from each other for an extended period of time. Watch the distance between them. Oh, wow. That's really interesting. That's new. That's definitely a new mechanic for sure. The demons seem to have calmed down. Remembering that he could not touch her, Ceresa breathed a sigh of relief. I just love how, like, magical and, like, Alice Wonderland... Like, she literally has a cat, Cheshire. Like, you can't tell me this doesn't give, like, Alice down. Can he hit this? Oh, he can! Okay, loot. Oh, he's like a vampire. He doesn't like that. The pungent scent tickled Ceresa's nose. It was rosemary, often used to ward off evil spirits. Oh. The Cheshire is not going to be able to go through it. Each Cheshire, he pulled away. Face scrunched. Can you put glass face. in the microwave? I don't think you can. It looked like demons could not stand being anywhere near the flower. Rosemary in time. So let's have you go this way. I remember putting like a glass, like a bowl into uh, a microwave when I was younger. And it exploded. I remember it so vividly. I was like, oh wow, this thing just like shattered. I was shocked. For how long? Uh, I don't know. Not for too long, I would think, right? Or does it if you do it for too long? Maybe it was long. Like, I have reusable, like, dishes that I've made meal prep in, and I think they're made out of glass. I'm like, can I just put it in the microwave to heat something up? Or is it gonna explode and kill me? I was wondering how it works. Yes. Oh, you want to know a funny story about putting something in the microwave that's not supposed to be in the microwave? Um, do you guys know the Ben and Jerry's? Oh, we've never, we haven't looked at this yet. You know the Ben and Jerry's packaged like, um, they're like. They're cookie dough ice cream bites. So they have them in like a reusable bag, but the reusable bag has tin foil in the middle of it. Like it has like, like reflectable fabric. For whatever reason, I wanted it to like melt. Like I didn't want to like cause a stir, but I wanted it to like not be frozen. So I put the bag in the microwave and the microwave exploded in flames and I almost set the entire apartment building on fire. This is when I lived with Annie Soke back in Rhode Island. Um, I'm not the best roommate, so. Work. Okay, she's so pretty. I love that design.
This was quite a pickle, but Ceresa knew how to get by without a scratch. Hello? That pause was so long. Cheshire! I've got it tied down! Finish it! Okay, okay. I... I quite... Gameplay's growing on me. I don't know how I feel about controlling two people at the same time. You don't have to, but... Is she not dead? Like, not to be that girl, but like, she felt really far. Thank you, Tyler. Stop! She does have plot armor on her side, that's true. That's very true. Cheshire's body shrunk to its original cuddly form. Huh? Cheshire! Ceresa ran to pick up Cheshire and held him tightly to her chest. In her arms, Cheshire felt his strength returning. Release me at once! Even in this form, the demon did not seem happy about being cuddled. Wait, that's Just so hold cute. Still, will you? While you're small, you can't walk on your own, right? I'll carry you until you can transform again. Not having a massive demon breathing down my neck will make it easier for me to calm down too. While far from pleased about being treated like a stuffed animal, the demon had no choice but to swallow his pride. Notice how this game is tolerable and is actually good without the addition of Viola in the storyline. Take notice, take notice. Oh my God, how cute is that? Oh my God. You spin me right around, baby, right around. I love that. Huh. Even with you in there, Cheshire still weighs the same as before. Switching modes. You can switch between moving together and moving apart at any time. Oh, you can... Oh my god, that's awesome. Oh my god, it's like a grappling hook, fierce. Yeah, isn't that kind of well, it's crazy that like, Cereza has a great relationship with Cheshire, and then Viola, when she inherits Cheshire, is just like, Yo, yeah, bro, like, what's up, shoddy? Like, what the fuck? Come on. Such a dumb bitch. It's literally night and day with the relationship of some of the characters. Come here! Oh, it's called hug mode. That's so cute. I'll 
also do i have to do another disclaimer even though viola isn't in this game my streams and my comment section are not a safe space for viola stands like i literally do not give a fuck if you like viola don't tell me about it i don't want to know about it it's like when you know a secret don't tell me i don't want to hear about it i don't want to see her name i don't want to see that you love viola and you think that she is a special type of character bitch she's a character that deserves to be in the grave down under that i do not even care about i cannot like i she needs to be a special character in the category of worst characters i don't want to hear about her i don't want to see her i don't want to engage in conversations about her yeah, you would be surprised with the amount of comments I get on my videos saying, Oh my god, I love Viola. Like, I just love her characterization in this game. Like, what is your problem with her? Everything. Let me put that out there. Just saying. Like, don't, like, this is literally a a disclosure if you're watching my videos or this video do not even try typing a viola comment i will literally i won't even entertain that idea i will either delete it or ignore you or hide the comment or block you like i'm annoyed she's not even in this game but her presence is just still annoying knowing it exists out there like you're wasting your time also standing viola wasting your time anyways when there's two beautiful women in the franchise that you could be standing you could also just stand cheshire like, pick a struggle. More rosemary. I wonder, can you just like, we can't, oh, can we not have him like walk Kisha, through? I'll toss you up there. See if there's a way forward. Beautiful woman, yes. Jean and Cereza. Not Viola. Cheshire can't return, being too far away. Okay, we're... I remember watching... I, I think someone tagged me in it. They were like, Nem, you're on Reddit. Like, they're talking about your reaction to the ending of Bayonetta. And there were a lot of positive comments, but there was one comment that was like, oh my god, love Nem, but she's so dramatic. Like, this ending wasn't that bad. And I was like... Did we play the same game? Like, what do you mean? Oh, sorry, Cheshire, I didn't mean to. Oh, we have to toss him. Cheshire, over here! I don't know. I literally do not know. It's almost like, it's almost performative that people try to stand Viola. They're like, yeah, cause the franchise in Kamiya, like I'm a big fan and like the franchise is going in another direction and I love it. And uh, Viola is a different type of woman. Like, yeah, we can love all different type of women, but it's about the personality. Like, do you see me being like, Oh yeah, I don't know. It's just exhausting. Like I just I just do not know how you can listen to her and like like her character and be like Yeah, it, it literally feels like performative like like the Tumblr girls back in the day that are like, I'm quirky, I'm a different type of girl and like trying to like just get the attention, like you wanna comment, you want somebody to respond to you. Like, girl please. Like, I love Viola. Like, she's a great character. Like, oh, please. What do you love about her quickly? Oh, nothing? I can't, you don't have a reason in the matter of seconds that I said it? Oh, what the? Yes, like I wouldn't, I don't think I would hate her as much if she was in her Dante game that everybody's saying that she was coded for. Put her in a cringy Saints Row game or something, I don't know. She doesn't fit the universe. Like, not even, okay. 
let me pause it this hypothetical we're playing this game we're having a wonderful time it's so mystical magical very alice in wonderland very magical girl like so i don't even know the word besides magical but it's like so what is the fucking word a chest did the fairies make this it's just like i wonder what's inside it's literally out of this world like it's so charming it's so it's beautiful i love the art style of this game it's it's like amazing could you uh okay and this also this game resembles what bayonetta stands for it's magical charisma stunning whimsical like there's so much char like it's literally that imagine for the viola stands let me tell you this let me ask you this could you imagine viola in this game would it fit absolutely fucking not so why the fuck are you saying that Viola is a good fit for the franchise? If she was in this game, nobody would buy it. I am I literally guarantee you, like, literally nobody... If they make her the face of the next one, nobody's gonna buy it. But, like, she wouldn't fit here. And this is the... This is... It might be a little skewed because it's more magical than Bayonetta games, but this is the... This is what we consume Bayonetta for. This is what we consume it for. We want that magic. We want that... Fantasy. Fantasy. There it is. Fantasy. We want that. We want to be taken there. <laughs> A thorough, yes. Sorry, I need to... I love that I'm doing all this and then as soon as... Like, I'm gonna have to end stream soon to watch Drag Race. And I'm gonna forget all of the controls going into this next time. Oh, I can... to meet you as well. We go down this way. And the puzzles are pretty... They make you think a little bit. They don't exercise your brain too much. I don't need a brain exercise for a video game. I'm gonna tell you that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, this is everything. I love this. Oh, I missed some. Cute. Uh, that was not fun. Thank you, Star Legend. My makeup is inspired by the Cheshire Cat in this game. He has like a blue, greenish eye and a red eye, and then inside of his mouth is like swirly. What have we here? Like a portal. There were signs that a witch had set up camp here. Perhaps I'm not the first witch to enter this forest. <clears throat> oh well, it means we've got a place to rest. Look what we have here! Oh, she found some loot. Oh, a gecko. Oh, a unicorn horn. Okay, loot box. Oh, that's so cute. You get like little sanctuaries. Large red arches are sanctuaries that can be unlocked while approaching. Be sure to unlock every time you see one pass by. Cute! Let's take a break. Oh, there's like crafting.
Oh my god, how cute! What? Oh my god! That is so cute! Oh, look at Treasure! Oh my god! Wow. This game is so cute. I live. Okay, I don't mean to cut the... Yeah, it just came out today. I don't mean to cut the festivities short, but there is Drag Race tonight, and I don't want to be in chat and somebody comes into my chat and gives spoilers, so I am going to end stream from now until after Drag Race, and if I'm feeling like it, I'll hop back on cam a little bit later tonight. If not, we'll pick it up again um, either tomorrow or the next day, but um, I'm just going to go have some food and enjoy the game, but... I mean, not the game, the show, but... I'll be back if I do decide to do that. Yeah, there is a demo. Uh, so guys, make sure you're following me on Twitter. If you follow my Twitter, um, I will post if I am going to be live again later today. Which I might, so. All right, I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna go make heat up my food in my glass bowl. Hopefully it doesn't explode and kill me. I'll see you guys later.